I also just wanted to announce, and I, I said this uh, a couple times publicly before, but um, I've dropped out of a group called the Mayors Against Illegal Guns recently. Yeah. The reason why I joined the group in the first place is because I took the name for what it said uh, against illegal guns. And the challenge that we see day in and day out in the city of Rockford um, uh, is not uh, dealing uh, primarily with uh, assault weapons or uh, uh, machine guns, automatic, automatic weapons. It's dealing with a uh, typical handgun. Um, all of those uh, typical um, weapons are usually in the hands of people who are prohibited from having them. Uh, not 100% of the time, but the vast majority of the gun crimes that are committed in Rockford, you can ask John Cabello, who served on our force in the Rockford Police Department, um, they're not committed by law-abiding citizens. They're, those crimes are committed by people who have felonies, people who would be prohibited from having a gun, people who don't, uh, and don't have a firearm owner's identification card. So the reason I joined the group is that the original focus, I thought, was going to be focusing on better enforcement of uh, existing laws, and if anything, um, um, we uh, have talked about not getting involved with things like uh, banning uh, assault weapons and banning uh, magazine clips. As the original mission uh, swayed, uh, that's when I decided to, that it was no longer in line with my beliefs. I was growing in that discontent for some time, um, and so that's why I dropped out. The, uh, by the way, they still may have me listed uh, on their website. I checked it recently, and, and we're asking them to get my name uh, taken off of them. Um, so I think those are the main areas that I wanted to make sure I covered right off the bat. I'm happy to take any other questions as our, our morning progresses. Thank you. Do you support concealed carry? Yes, I do support concealed carry. I plan on myself getting a concealed carry permit. Um, once they become available in the state of Illinois. Uh, some of you may have heard me comment on this before, but um, you know, I was, uh, uh, any doubt that I might have had in my opinions about concealed carry when I first came into office changed quickly as I, I became an elected <coughs> official and just became very familiar with, the, as I said, the types of crimes that we're dealing with and the focus um, uh, should not be against law-abiding citizens. We should be focusing in our enforcement on folks who, who have no right to carry a gun uh, uh, concealed or otherwise, uh, they don't write because they've lost it, because they've committed felonies and they've broken the law, they have other uh, problems in their life. Personally as well, I've had um, three uh, threats that I've had to deal with since I got elected, none of which turned out to be any major event, but you know, once you get a death threat and you realize um, even with the support of the Rockford Police Department, um, I just know with myself, especially now with a very young family, um, I don't want to put my family's uh, life at risk. I don't want to put my own life at risk um, in a way that uh, if I can otherwise prevent and protect myself, I'm going to do it. 